Yeah. What I know about Chaminuga, it's a long story of Chaminuga. Chaminuga's board was surviving in, in, in Pejia. Do you know Pejia? Yes. That's where most black people came from. Because uh, these southern countries were not having people, they were just forests. The time people began to travel, they came from Persia. They were leaded by the voice of a bird which was flying. That bird was showing them directions to go and the rules of praying to the ancestors to stop to spend even one week or one month or six months at the same place and he, it was the one which was telling them to move away to leave some other people at the place that which they came to. that bed is fish ego that fish ego in Shona we call it Wungwe. So, Shaminuga and Nehanda were brother and sister. He was brother and sister. And they survived in Persia. Only the spirits came here in Africa to possess on people. Firstly, the spirits possess only, only stones, only dry trees, and talk. But people tried to cut, uh, to cut down the tree which is talking. The stone began to talk, and they buried the stone. They wanted to see what is happening and what will happen if we do this. That was just like. Uh, Research to see what will happen if I disturb the voice without a person. The only voice which is appearing from the tree or from the stone. And that spirit touched to a person, human being. That person was from the from the king's family, Maroji. They were Vumara, those are the kings, the leaders, the owner of Zimbabwe. And the spirit was possessed, was possessed only one of the men. And uh, that man, I think, people say that man touch the different senses which are not allowed by the spirit and the spirit move away from him and he, he remained died and the spirit went to, 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 to possess on another young guy that boy was very young so he was to be carried by his mother and uh, those people who was related to this, to the person who was possessed by Chaminuka, they wanted to see where is the spirit possessing now. And uh, the mother tried to hide the son until he grows up because they wanted to kill him if they found him. While the guy was was old enough to do his own things, he ran away from from the from Mashingo to come to Mondoro. He saw another man who was cutting his trees from the field, from his field to make his field clear. And he asked the person, Can I hide myself under your your branches which you are cutting down? 
because there are some people who are following me, they want to kill me. Can you help me please to, you know, to cover myself, to hide in your branches? And the owner of the branches agreed. He gave permission to the person to hide himself. And he hid he, he in, in those branches, under those branches. Those people who was following him, they came for sure and they asked him, did you see the guy, the person who, who was running? And he said, yeah, I saw him. He ran, he, he was running as well. He already went. So if you want to get him, you can quickly follow him. And they passed away those people. They followed him the way which they have directed by him. That man came out after those people went. And he organized the people to come together and he told them the, the reasons why he was running away from being killed. And he, he gave people the rules. He said, I am Chaminuka. I don't want blood, I don't want people who kill someone, I don't want anyone who even put poison in someone's food or someone's drink. What I want is moral. We just want to play beer, drinking beer, staying in good conditions. If someone have done wrong to someone, just say sorry. If the matter is very big, the person must pay to say sorry to someone. He must pay even cattle. Then they agreed and they brew beer for welcoming of that, that big spirit in their area. And people were enjoying it. And even the rain was raining nicely because Chaminuka was asking for the rain to the spirits to the Lord. And the Lord gave him good rains. So, what happened is someone took someone's wife and they talked about it. He reported to the cabinet of the spirit. Then Chabinoga said, you have done wrong to someone, you took someone's wife, so you must have to pay 10, 10 kettles for that matter. And he paid 10 kettles, but the owner of the wife was still cheap. He was not satisfied by that payment. He wanted to kill. And he killed the man. Then Chabinuga said, I told you, you must keep my rules. But now you, you can't follow my rules. So you have done something which caused the blood. So I cannot stay in the area which has been blood like that. So I am leaving. Then they brew beer for that beer was just <laughs> for farewell of the spirit. And some another guy who came very far from that area, he heard by rumors that there is a function in Mondoro. He was enjoying to listen to the music, traditional music. And he was very good on beer playing. He was very good on singing. He was very good on dancing. He was very good on drumming. So that person came and he spent the whole night with the other people playing music, dancing. In the, in the morning tomorrow, the spirit of Chaminuga said, now today is the day 
of uh, everyone to know that I am living and I am changing the person to possess because I am running away from the blood. And he ran away. He said, can you take the last beer pot? So we want everybody to have a cup from that beer, from that clay pot. And the people tried to, to, to take the beer, and they didn't managed to take the beer. It was just like dry like a stone. And Shabinuga said, if you find one person who can distribute this beer to everyone, that is the person which I am going to possess and I am going with that person. <coughs> the whole round of people tried and they failed to, 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 to distribute beer. And Chaminuga said, there is another person who came from far from this area. I want him to come and distribute beer to everyone. And he came. It was very easy for him to distribute beer after he finished. Then Chaminuga said to everyone, I'm going with that person and I'm going to, to possess on that person. So if you want to those who want the traditional systems, you can follow where he can stay. But in this area I am living in because you killed the person which is very long. I told you my all rules that you didn't keep me. So that guy went through his elder brother. His elder brother was called Zinyana. That guy, his, his name was, was he was called Paspamire. But Paspamire is the first name which was called the first person who was possessed by Chabinuka in the Mashingo from Varoji people, Varoji tribe. And that's why people call that second possessed person Paspamire again. Because they knew that Paspamire was the first Chabinuka. But he was he, he had his own name because he was from Mondoro. And that guy was uh, the guy who was the great in the spirits. And he lived in the place where he, he was staying and he came to stay in Chitumwiza. That's why we call this area Chitumwiza. There is uh, another type of grass which is called Lunguiza, Lunguiza in short. That grass is a huge grass. It's different from other grasses. So that is called Lunguiza. So they call the area Chitunguiza. So the owner of Chitunguiza is Chabinuka. And she, he was doing everything good for everyone. Even if the disease is coming, he was informed the people and tell them what to do to prevent that disease. He told people to make porridge and put some medicine which can prevent them from that disease. And the disease will go through Zambia, Botswana. So he came to be a chief. People said Chaminuka Dimam, which means Chaminuka is a chief because 
he was helping everything. If you have a, your relative who is sick, you can go with him or her to Chabinuka. Chabinuka will cure him easily, nicely and politely. And he was a kind man. He was a lovely man. He was a friendly man. If he met, he met someone who is so poor, he will take that person and give him a job to do and give him some kettles, goats, and everything. So he begins his own life. If he did, to marry a woman, Chabinuka will be paid for the world. So Chabinuka was the great for everything. That's why people were saying Chabinuka demand. Thank you.